Yeah. Jared Polin, Fro Nose Photo. Dot com, and I'm here in the wild jungle of my front yard here with uh, Mr. Kermit the Frog, who is going to be our subject for this super secret project video. What this super secret project video all, is, blah, is all about is showing you the different apertures when I shoot them. So I'm going to start at 1.4 and go all the way. I think this goes to what, 22? No, the uh, 51.4 only goes to F16. So I'm going to take it all the, th all the way through the stops and I'm gonna show you exactly what each stop looks like, just so you can get a field of view for when you're shooting with your camera to say, what will 1.4 look like? What will 2.8 look like? Four, five, six, 11, or I skipped eight, but you're gonna get a better feel for what they look like. And this is a project that I would like you guys to try outside and shoot whatever you want. Um, it doesn't matter what lens, doesn't matter what camera. In this case, I'm using the, my, my D3S with the 51.4, um, but, it really doesn't matter what you're shooting with when it comes to doing this exercise. So what you're going to do is you're going to go outside and you're going to set your camera to aperture priority. We're not really worried too much about exposure here. We're just looking to see what happens when you change your f-stops only. Um, you know, you do have to get your ISO in a, in a range to work wherever you're shooting. But in this case, I think I'm going to be at about, you know what, I'm going to probably put mine at 400 just for the hell of it. Um, and we'll see what happens from there. Uh, being that you're gonna be an aperture priority, it's going to automatically change the shutter speed. Like I said before, this is an assignment to see what happens to your f-stops as we change them. So I just think it's best for you guys to go outside or inside or wherever you're gonna do and try this out. So coming right up now, right after I get up actually, we are going to show you me running through the different f-stops so you can get a feel for what it's going to look like. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so here we go with this exercise to show you the different f-stops and how the background's going to change and what your sharpness and focus are going to look like. So I'm going to start at 1.4 here shooting Mr. Kermit the Frog with the D3S and we're going to see what happens with the background. I'm going to show you the different examples uh, right on the screen as I take them. So here we go. Let's see. I'm a little too close. I'm backing up slightly, and I'm focusing right on Kermit the Frog's eye because that's where I would want you to focus. So here's 1.4. Boom. Now let's take a look at that. All right, you see how shallow everything else is? Like the eye is nice and in focus, and the background is totally blown out. It's totally gone. It's like butter. The bokeh is very, very sweet. So now let's take it. We're going to go up to... 2.8. I know that's a couple of stops difference, but let's go here. And there's that. And there you go. You can see the difference. The background is starting to fill in a little more. So now let's take it to the next stop that most of you guys will have in your cameras is F4. Focusing on the eye, shooting, and now let's see what that looks like. So you can see how the background is starting to come out more. Take it to 5.6. Boom, there's your 5.6. And we can start to see how we can notice that the fence is coming out in the background uh, and changing through all the different pictures. You can see all the differences as this is going on. So now let's go to F8. Focus on the eye, compose, boom. Yep, the background's coming out nicely. Here's F11. Boom. Take it to F16, and that's as high as this lens is going to take it. Boom, F16. Yeah, and now the background is totally in, well, it's not totally in focus, but it's more recognizable. And you can see, going through the difference, I'm going to put up each one of these images so you, that you can track through from F1.4 all the way to F16 to see the differences that change in the apertures well, seeing the difference that the aperture uh, does. Also, you'll, you'll take into consideration, even though this isn't a, an, a, a, an experiment about exposure, you're seeing what's happening to your shutter speed as you change the f-stop. As your f-stop goes higher, your shutter speed starts to go smaller because it has to, your, your shutter speed gets slower 
because you have to let in more light as you start blocking light coming in through your f-stop. Remember, at 1.4, we're totally wide open. That means this is what you're looking through. The lens is letting in all of the light. As you get to f-16, it gets even smaller. So when you're letting in less light, your shutter speed has to drop even slower. So even though this isn't an experiment about working your exposures, you can learn from what's going on in your camera. So that's really it. I want you guys really to go try this outside. Uh, get down, I don't care if you get down on the ground, I don't care if you're sitting in a chair, doing whatever you need to do. Find anything you can, you can shoot, get close to it, focus on it, and see what happens to the background. Doesn't matter what lens you have, even if you have an 18 to 55, you're gonna see the same effects happen. So get out there and shoot. I hope this helps you out. Jared Poland, Fro Nose. Uh, don't forget about Kermit the Frog. Bye, Jared. Jared Poland, Fro Nose Photo.com. See ya.